to create a site that identified, you want to click on the big yellow button and save the zip file to your hard drive somewhere. So we'll save it to the desktop and go there and unzip the file. When the file is unzipped, then you want to go in there and do a Control-A, Control-X, then go to where you have your PHP webs, create a directory with the name of your site, let's say Book Club, go in there and do a Control-V to paste them all in, and then you just need to go to that directory, localhost Book Club, and you'll see a login. Login is dev dev, and then you'll have a little wizard to uh, fill out. Let's call it uh, University Course Book Club, all the best books. Type in your name, login, password is test, don't tell anybody, and set up the site. After that, you can log in with uh, the login password that you just typed in. This is about books, so click on create item type, and create an item type called books. Title, description, is a paragraph type, author, we need, what else do we need, number of pages, is a whole number, WN. Click the button, and you will see up at the top on the right, manage books. Click that, and you can now add a book. So the title of the book is CSS Cookbook. This is a good book for beginners. Author is Schmidt. The number of pages, now watch this, the number of pages is none. Enter, and you see, we have validation, just because we called it a whole number, which is great. We'll type in a good no number there for the pages, and now we see that we have a book entered. We can type in another book by clicking on copy. This is a good book for advanced users. Enter, and now we have two books. Click on create display page now, and we have a display page. Click on this link here to allow everyone to see it, not just a developer. And if we go into another browser, let's go into um, Explorer. Where's Explorer here? Right here. Go into Explorer, localhost, book club, and you see that you can, a uh, user that's not logged in can click on books and see all the books that you have added already. He can also post a comment. I like the part on page 34. Jim. He sees his comment already, but nobody else sees it until... Where is uh, my other browser here? Until the developer reads his emails and is told that there's a comment to approve. He can approve it on the start page. And when he clicks uh, here on books, he sees the comment and he says, uh, yes, that was a good part. What did you like about it, Edward? And in the other browser here, where's my Explorer? Here it is. So Explorer, I press F5, and the student now sees uh, the response from the teacher, for instance, and a uh, conversation has begun. Those are the basics. In another uh, video, I'll tell you how to change the layout. And also, perhaps you're wondering why or how we set up a database-backed website, but there seems to be no database. Where is it? Uh, that's the subject of another video.